Well, now to the mask mandate. The one for Aldi and ISD is going to end in just a few weeks. The district made the announcement saying students, staff, and visitors will not be required to wear masks starting Friday, March 11th. School officials say the change is due to a decline in COVID-19 cases in the district, as well as expanded vaccine eligibility for younger children. Well, a newly proposed amendment will cut money from schools and child care centers that enforce COVID-19 vaccine mandates. It was introduced by Senator Ted Cruz yesterday. It would stop federal funding for schools and child care centers that require the vaccine for enrollment, in-person attendance, and participation in school-sponsored activities. Cruz says the amendment will protect, rather, the rights of parents to make medical decisions for their own children. Well, now to this update, U.S. officials report thousands of additional Russian troops have joined forces along the Ukrainian border. This contradicts Russia's claims this week of a pullback. Washington correspondent Jesse Tenor has more on this. More Russian forces, not fewer, are at the border. U.S. officials warn Russia has added as many as 7,000 troops along the Ukrainian border, despite the country's claims of a continued pullback. Our concern continues to grow. State Department spokesperson Ned Price says Russia is also circulating false reports of unmarked civilian graves allegedly killed by Ukrainian forces and the development of chemical weapons by the U.S. and Ukraine. Price stresses false flags like this could serve as a pretext for an invasion. This could happen, we are concerned, at any time and the world should be ready for it. The Biden administration continues to ramp up its pressure on Russia on the world stage. Vice President Kamala Harris will participate in diplomatic talks with U.S. allies at the Munich Security Conference in Germany. Our commitment to defending the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Ukraine and our uh, commitment to putting in place severe economic consequences should Russia invade. This comes after Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin met with NATO leaders in Belgium, emphasizing the U.S. stands ready to help. You can expect that uh, that, that commitment will remain rock solid going forward. And that was Jesse Tenor reporting.